Oh, hey, folks, how you doing? I'm a little bit rattled today, although I've had worse. Um, how you doing, everybody? I um, just kind of, uh, they gave me a uniform here for this place, and uh, the woman called me, and um, I didn't know if I was going to take that job or not. Um, the one that they offered me yesterday, but um, the woman called me and told me a little bit more about it, and then um, um, she asked me about something about on-the-job training, which is supposed to be on these papers that she gave me. I looked and I didn't see anything, and in the background there was this dump truck and the garbage truck, so I could hardly hear anything. It was real bad. And um, I think my windows were open. And um, she just came out and told me that I needed to, to pay attention. And uh, that's all it took for me to tell her that she's going to get her uniform back. So tomorrow I'm going to go and I'm going to take the uniform back to them. And it's just, and then she called me back twice, but I didn't answer. The people in security down here in Florida, uh, they must be all mad. I'm not kidding you. They must be all mad. I mean, I, I'm sure she could have heard all of that going on behind me with the uh, garbage truck banging and clanking and picking up things, you know? But I think I made a mistake because I wasn't quick enough on my feet. Well, because I did tell her. I told her, I, I came out and I told her and I said, listen, I said, I know that I've done my business as a lowly lawn man, but I don't let anyone talk to me like that. And when they do, I leave the account and I suffer. I said, don't talk to me like that. You know, and like you can't even imagine me getting mad, right? Well, I did. So, but you see, I handled it in the wrong way. It's like I'm so fucking intelligent now, and I'm like, like I'm not like making this up. It's like I, you have to start treating these people like they're like, like they're uh, like a nine or ten years old. And what I should have said is, I should have drawn Biden Trump comparisons. That's where I realized I was wrong. I said to my, I, I said to myself, you know what? If I was, you know, I should have explained it to her slowly, and I should have said, you know what? When you talk to me. Don't talk to me like I was Donald Trump. Talk to me, just pretend I was Joe Biden. <laughs> pardon, uh, pardon me, folks, because I tend to make my, I'm so funny, I tend to make myself laugh all the time. So you can tell I'm not easy, I'm not hard to please. Uh, okay. You know what? Oh. After this dust up here, and then I went out and I cut uh, half a yard, um, I have to get my heart rate down because uh, I have to go do plasma if I can. So, anyways, let's go ahead and um, let's do the markets, okay? And then let's go, and like I'll have to like settle down here, okay? Settle down. Kumbaya, all the rest of it. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's check the Dow first, okay? 233 up. Now we will check Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is 46,268, so it's really going up, okay? And now we will check JM Bullion, and then off we will go um, to um, Bolshevik land, okay? Which is the news. So let's go ahead and check out JM Bullion. And uh, I'm sorry, folks, it's taken a while to come up. Okay, uh, gold's up $20 to 1757. Silver's up 13 cents to $23.61. Okay. There you have it. Now, straight into the news, we will go. We are going on to Drudge. Okay, there you have it. A whole bunch of balloons. Must be really exciting news today. Alarm. Pfizer only 42% effective. 
against infection in July. Well, that just means that uh, whatever you did, it was useless. Um, you get to take all of that, um, uh, you know, you get to take all of that uh, into your body. But uh, now you need something else. Okay. So now can you say how smart we were? Because even if we're forced into this, uh, we haven't had to have that useless thing. Right. What's so complicated about this, folks? Really? Why? Like, why is it so complicated? We're not going there. Okay. And you know why? We're not going there. Okay? By the way, you want to you want to take a look at some German death cards? You want to take a look at some German death cards with me? By the way, I found out what that organization was that protected um, the uh, high brass in the Third Reich. It was uh, the L-A-A-H-S or L-A-A-S-S-H. I got to figure it out. I'll take you to the site that I just love. Okay, black market grows for jab card okay so there's a big black market that's why they're gonna have to put the tattoos right here I'd say probably you need it more than that big because you're gonna you don't want people to get too close to you like that looking to see your number right you know what they could use a barcode couldn't they just put like a big barcode right here couldn't they do that like the ones that you know they, they scam couldn't they put like one of those barcodes we got to get serious here. The Bolsheviks really want us to get serious about this. American Delta Southwest. You see, we got three new variants now. Uh, American Delta and Southwest. See, you folks thought you were in trouble before. Now we got three of them. I'll read it to you. American Delta Southwest will not mandate for employees. What? Oh, you mean the real Delta Airlines Southwest. Oh, they had enough of their uh, people calling in sick and saying, hey, you know what? We're pilots, and even though we're dumb cunts, we're up highly enough off the base of the Latinos and all the rest of these fucking idiots, and we know what's going on, and we don't feel like putting that stuff in us. Yeah, you mean that? <laughs> yeah, like that. You mean like the pilots that didn't want to fly? Because they, they bang enough beaver to understand what's going on. Do you like that? I love that term, banging beaver. I love it. Okay, let's keep on going here. That was my mistake, by the way. I thought American was a new variant and Southwest was a new variant. But, uh, oh my goodness. What a setback. What a setback. So they can't force it upon the airlines, huh? Oh my God, what a setback. I got it! motherfuckers why don't you folks just leave why don't you go back to your countries and fuck them up huh I got him oh <laughs> YouTube suspends Rand Paul for questioning masks we can't question anything we have to accept Everybody has to be on board! You think I'm making that up? Right there. Right there. YouTube suspends Rand Paul for not saying that he's on board. You gotta be on board. Maybe what we can do is put him into a, one of those uh, congressional re-education camps. Keep him in there until the next session. Send them with a fire chief. Fire chief will straighten them up. The fire chief says a lot of people dying out there. Gotta mask up. You know, folks, I just like to, like, watch myself. You know, I'm serious. I think I should have, like, 15 million people, not 16 people. I should have, like, 15 million people. <sighs> Francis Macron, right? That's how you say it. But they don't even say it like they, they it, it's like wind talkers. They say it like Macron. It's, it's gone. It's done. You know what I mean? Uh, he, um, 
uh, defends Democratic, quote unquote, handling of crisis as protests swell. I'm telling you, Macron, why don't you just set up re-education centers for all of those dumb frogs over there? Okay? Get them into re-education camps, okay? That's the best way. You stupid frog! Hawaii to reimpose restrictions. Oh my God, let's get two tickets immediately. Let's go for 14 days to uh, uh, restricted whatever and stay in the hotel and order out of Domino's if they have it there. We'll get a Hawaiian pizza. Oh. Up, up and away. Inflation, 20 year high. Stocks hit records, new record highs. Senate, four trillion new spending. Well, what's the difference? We'll be up to 50, 60, 70 trillion. <laughs> what comes after a trillion? Quadrillion? I, I, honest to God, what is it? I really don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. Right? A trillion. Quadrillion? I, I don't know, honest to God. I don't know. I mean, if you live in a country like Mozambique or something like that, don't they have like... Um, you know, 27 trillion um, of their dollars, which uh, equates to about 50 cents or something, isn't it? <sighs> Let's keep going. Well, who cares about new spending? The Bolsheviks say spending is good. Don't worry about a thing. <sighs> Family dollar store closes after entire staff quits over low pay and long hours. You'd figure it would say because of jab, right? No. See what I'm talking about? The airlines are different, folks. When you got a pilot that knows that he can score a nook and he knows that if he gets that jab, it might affect that banging beaver kind of thing, okay? Uh, they're different than these employees over here at Family Dollar. And it's not just the Latinos or, or minorities. It's all of these lower class people that are, I'm supposed to be part of. You understand? But I'm above them. I am. Seriously. You want to read that? I want to read that. Let's see. I thought it was going to say because I don't want to take the you know what. But they're probably fighting over each other to get it. Right? They're probably fighting with each other to get it. Oh, I get it first. No, I want it first. <laughs> All right. Well, I've pressed. Oh, here. Family Dollar employees walk at Nebraska store, walk off job site, low pay and long shifts. Family Dollar in Lincoln, Nebraska reopened Monday after being forced to temporarily close when the entire staff fed up over poor pay management. Well, at least they gave you a free jab, didn't they? I mean, come on, folks. Uh, can't they come up with some sort of euphemistic uh, thing like, well, you can always, um, you can always uh, something or another, but if you quit your job, it's forever. Like that stupid thing they said. Well, if you get it, um, it's like a seatbelt, and if you got your seatbelt on, if you're in an accident, you won't die. Somebody smart has to come up with one of those euphemistic terms for working at, at Family Dollar, which, by the way, I got my razors at, which did the trick here, and they're still 10 for a dollar, so we wish, and also those little, really, really nifty little uh, sewing kits that have the 10 needles preloaded with string. Family Dollar kicks ass in some ways. I mean, they're a little bit more expensive than Dollar General, but they're still pretty good. All right. Anyways, we won't go there anymore, okay? We won't go anymore. These geniuses over at Family Dollar, we're not going there anymore, okay? Uh, I should because I'd like to take you to the quote that said, they it probably has it on there where it says, they really, really did appreciate the free uh, jab, but enough is enough. All right. Let's keep going here, folks. My uh, my thing is slow. Okay. All right, we're back on. Okay.
Chris Cuomo hemorrhages female viewers. That's the brother of Guinea. He's the other one, but he's a, he's a different kind of Guinea. He's um, a corrupt Guinea. See, Cuomo, it's enough for him to just um, strut his stuff around and say, look, I'm a dumb Guinea, and uh, uh, you know you girls should be really honored to have my advances. That's probably what that was all about. That's how Guineas are, okay? And, like, there's no gene information to molest little boys or anything like that. They don't have those genes. They just think that all women should be... Um, really just like overwhelmed and grateful that they would give them any of their guinea attention, right? Scam likely. We're passing on the scam. I got two of these calls from my uh, car warranty, you know, those things, which aren't cheap, by the way. They're like $140 a month. It's like, please, can you explain this to me, please? Actually, don't explain it to me. Um, Hochul, which is the newest uh, Bolshevik um, governor of New York, uh, she vows not to have, quote, toxic workplace. We'll just fill it with a whole bunch of uh, rainbow people there. What do you say? A whole bunch of LGBTFs or whatever it is. Okay? Just put them all in there. Okay? You got the right idea. And make sure they wear those buttons that say vacation for everybody. I'm sorry. What is that? A paid vacation for everybody or something like that? Make sure they wear that too. Okay? Debt nears $29 trillion. A nationwide emergency alerts test coming to phones and TV. I don't like where that one's going already, do you? I don't like it. Arrest warrants issued for Dems who fled over voting rights law. A study, ape say hello and goodbye and judge politeness. Exercise vigorously for four seconds. Repeat. Muscles may thank you. Number of white people in USA declines for first time in history. Div diversifying at fastest rate ever. I, I'm not making that up. That's just what it says. Okay? That's just what it says. Secret IRS files reveal how much ultra wealthy gained by shaping Trump's tax cut. As if it hasn't been going on for fucking ever in a day, right? Give me a break, will you please? Stop it with the Trump bashing already. The man's out of office already. He's trying to hock his hats again, all right? Give him a break already. He's got to refinish those uh, 24 karat gold um, toilet handles there on his 757, which we don't have to pay for anymore. Let him hawk up that money from all those brain-dead Republicans like the pool idiot down there at the at the uh, Speedway gas station I see. I told you that story. I saw him the last time, and uh, he knew I was going to start ribbing him already about the uh, about the jab. And he said, you know, I, I, like he came out like, like uh, unprompted, and he goes, you know, I was listening to a doctor, and the doctor said um, that um, he wasn't quite in lockstep, and they told him to, like, shut up, and they... They, and I said, you're sounding like a fucking conspiracy theorist to me. There is no such thing. Everybody's on board with this. You sound like you're with, get up on the wrong side of the bed today. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Can I tell you, I'm in an odd mood today, okay? I've been told that I'm an inattentive listener by my uh, boss that just gave me these uniforms, okay? Which they're going to get back tomorrow. Update. Tropical storm warnings issued for Caribbean islands. Florida on alert. I'm not happy about that. I still haven't checked it. <sighs> Continued problems after massive beach sewage spill now hitting the water supply. I'll remember that. That's why I'm glad I just got this shit. Okay? Distilled water. Thank you. Okay? 
All right. I'm tired of this tap water. I don't think it's very healthy for you. This isn't probably very healthy for you either. Okay. Huge California fire grows. Montana blaze threatens towns. Let's take a look at these cone models. I know this is for the the uh, hurricane. Looks like it's going to go to the west. We're right on the edge of the uh, cone of uh, diptionicity. Um, MJ hates that because, like every time, uh, he talks about the cone of uncertainty, which means that like he has to like board up everything and he's got this huge business and you know like with him he's got to like batten down the hatches for everything you know so he does it and then he complains because then it doesn't come close <laughs> I don't blame him for getting mad though because it's a lot of work and usually that means uh, he's too late and he has to go to the Home Depot and sit there and wait for the emergency load of lumber to come in you know I remember that one okay uh, in blistering drought, farmers rip up precious almond trees. DeSantis says doubt, doubts reports of Florida ventilators request. He doubts it. He, folks, you, do you see what I'm talking about, squish face? That's what I call DeSantis, the governor of Florida here. He's puzzled. Folks, I can't say it. Do you understand? I can't tell you that um, it's a makeup story that they took a baby and flew a baby 150 miles to a place where they could lay him down in bed. I can't tell you that that's fake. You understand? And you know why I can't do that. And do you see how he is doing the same thing? He says he doubts, he says doubts reports of Florida ventilator requests. He doubts it. Why don't you just come out and say this and be ready to perish, squish? Hmm? Why don't you be prepared? And if you're prepared to perish, uh, people will start to begin to see that there are people who are willing to pay the price because of what's happening here, which is so egregious and imbecilic that it makes an average lawn man who, whose chief success or highest, um, um, as high as he's ever gone on the totem pole is watching Star Trek, okay? I mean, does that make any sense to you folks now? Let's move on, okay? Over one million get booster jab without FDA approval. Well, what difference does that make? You're gonna die, right? Or wrong, I don't know, maybe you'll die. So just get it, no matter what it is. You know, folks, uh, what if like seven years from now you're going, uh, and you can't do something or another? We're not giving you anything, folks. Not if it's me. We're not giving you anything. <laughs> I wasn't notified by it. Oh, you mean when you were signing the papers saying that uh, uh, with this uh, jab that you can't do anything because you're signing the papers? You mean that? <laughs> yeah, but I was well, we're about to die. Let's move on. And you know why, right? You know why. <laughs> You know what? No offense, but I'm so tired of this guy. I wish he would just go away. Isn't that the guy? I, I don't even want to go there. Little Nas fears for his safety after homophobic comments from other rappers. Well, let me tell you something, sport. When you come up there looking like you're going to take a rear entry from Satan, don't expect to have a lot of people jumping on board. They may buy the sneakers for uh, 28000 or whatever it is, but don't expect many people to be in your home set there, okay? I mean, folks, how stupid do you have to be? Mm. 
NASA a new challenge to reaching moon. One billion space suit program. <sighs> Sorry, folks. It's taking me off. Animal shelter puts lonely pets on Tinder. China weighs whether to abandon a scam zero tolerance approach. Just lock everybody up. What, what's the problem there? The people that don't want to get locked up or if they sneak out, get them into re-education centers. We are looking to you. You are the superior people in this world. I'm not making that up. You're superior. You've beaten this all. So we need to look to you as the superior ones. Even though you're a bunch of fucking dumb jinks. You understand? Jesus fucking Christ. Folks, I, am I going to have like a nervous breakdown today? I don't know if I'm going to make it. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make it. German nurse injected patients with saline instead of jab sparking fury. Well, they may have may have done you a favor, right? I don't know. Maybe they did him a favor in the long run. <laughs> Sicily Sizzle, speaking of dumb guineas. Yeah, I said it! you never been there, okay? I haven't either. I, their pizza's excellent, though. You know that square pizza, that Sicilian pizza? <laughs> Nearly 120 degrees threatens Europe's all-time heat record. Uh, study uh, most prefer to get revenge on others immediately. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mexico drug cartel threatens prominent news anchor. Insta, whatever that is, unveils tools to, quote, reduce abuse and racist comments. <laughs> Sorry for censoring nipple on Penelope Cruz film poster. Okay. Snap. Driver bites off man's nipple in road rage. You know we're going there. You know we're going there, right? All right. Well, look, everybody has a bad day, okay? Okay. I might not get through the day without biting off somebody's nipple. All right? All right, so looks like he's sorry for it. Or whatever it is. Maybe that's a victim. I don't know. It says Chicago man battered an off-duty CPD officer and bit the nipple off the cop's buddy during a road rage incident Sunday night on Lakeshore Drive, prosecutors said. Kyle Clark, 35, also had a gun in his car. You know, this cop ought to be luckier, this cop friend. You know, sometimes cops are real dickheads in their car. Maybe this guy had a, had a reason to be a dickhead. Um, let's see, it says, but you're probably more interested in hearing about the nipple. Uh, talk about talking down to people. Actually, the nipple makes very little difference. I want to see what is going on here. Uh, the, the men... Prosecutors said the off-duty cop and the other victim, both 38-year-old men, what a coincidence, were heading north on Lakeshore Drive when a black Volkswagen Jetta sideswiped them near Jackson Street around 11.40 p.m. Sunday. The men pulled up next to the Jetta and ordered Clark to pull over so they could file a crash report. And the off-duty cop identified himself as a Chicago police officer, Pro prosecutors say. Uh, all right. Uh, Clark and the cop both got out of their cars, and Clark punched the cop twice in the face, according to prosecutors. When the other victim tried to help the off duty cop, Clark bit the man's nipple and tore it completely off. On duty police officers arrived and took Clark into custody. After biting off his nipple. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just making that up. 
Um, without a struggle or after a brief struggle, according to the allegations, the victim who allegedly lost his nipple was taken to a nearby hospital to have the wound closed with stitches. Talk about a badge of honor. Can you imagine that? Like having a badge of honor? What happened to your nipple, dude? Well, we were being dickheads and this black guy pulled over and uh, he said, I ain't going to put up with your bullshit. Or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> okay, he's charged with ag aggravated battery of a, it says of a peace officer. Aggravated battery causing great bodily harm, aggravated un unlawful use of a weapon, and leaving the scene of property damage. Judge Charles Beach set bail at 100000 and said Clark must go on to electric monitoring if he posts the 10% deposit bond to get out of jail. That was the most exciting thing in this whole report. We, uh, boy duct taped the seat after trying to kick out window on flight. You can't do it any better than that. You gotta, you can't have somebody watching him. You gotta duct tape, duct, duct tape the boy? Really? Let's have a look at the boy. Is he like uh, bigger than three men or something? I think I'd object to that. I think I'd have a couple people watching him. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be a know-it-all, but I mean, doesn't that sound kind of ponderous to you? <laughs> Caught on camera, teenage passenger restrained on flight from Maui to Los Angeles. American Airlines flight from Maui to Los Angeles was diverted to Honolulu after a 13-year-old boy became disruptive. Witnesses said the boy attempted to kick out the window next to his seat and became physical with his own mother about a, an hour into the flight. The video shows the other passengers helping to restrain the teenage passenger. According to reports, both the boy and his mother have special needs. The boy has autism 